Hey everyone, my name is Hoax Talks and I'm back with a brand new video. On today's new video, we're here to do Klaus Michelson, the original hybrid, up against Count Dracula from the Van Helsing movie. Now, two things. I've had several of you actually request this video, and I've also had a few of you say I need to give Klaus a fair matchup. Now, I don't know if you guys know anything about the Van Helsing movie, but Count Dracula is overpowered as hell. This is the like the most fairest matchup I think you can actually give Klaus. This is Gonna be a really really close fight and it can go either way so make sure to leave a like and subscribe and while you're down there comment down below your thoughts and opinions and i want to hear your predictions on who you think wins this fantasy fight follow me on my instagram link down below in the description and also join my discord server as well link down below in the description and without further ado let's begin my name is klaus you're the hybrid you've heard of me fantastic This is such a good matchup, boys and girls. I'm telling you right now, you guys do not understand how strong Count Dracula is in the Van Helsing movies. Like, this dude has a crazy strong healing factor. Like, check out this scene right here. And look, I know what you're probably thinking, right? How the hell would Klaus Michelson be able to kill someone who can heal from that? Well, the cool thing about this, right, is Count Dracula's only weakness in the movie is the bite of a werewolf. Count Dracula has one more insane ability, right? He can actually control werewolves. But the thing is though, I don't think it'll work against Klaus for two reasons. For one, Klaus is a lot more powerful than Count Dracula. Klaus is a 1000 year old hybrid. Count Dracula is only like 440 years old. And on top of that, Klaus is also a hybrid, which personally I think would have mean that he can't actually control him. And if he can control him, it'll be very, very difficult, similar to how Dracula was not able to control Van Helsing. Here's the thing though, boys and girls, just because Dracula has some pretty cool abilities and also has a pretty good healing factor, doesn't mean Klaus doesn't either. Check this scene out right here. Game of hide and seek. We also can't forget about Klaus's ability of compulsion. Death offers more peace than you deserve. It's better to let you live. And each morning you will wake, knowing that your wretched existence continues only by my will. <laughs> now go, and live the rest of your days, knowing you are nothing to me. <laughs> So they're pretty similar in abilities. Count Dracula can control werewolves and Klaus can control vampires. And they both only have one weakness. Klaus is being the white oak stake that no longer exists and Dracula is being a werewolf bite, which Klaus does possess. Dracula also does have an ability to actually turn into a monster that can fly, but I personally think it won't do much when we have Klaus who is faster than Dracula. Dracula's speed is faster than the human eye, which means in terms of Mach, he's only running around 0.1 to 0.5 or subsonic. But Klaus is actually supersonic running anywhere from 1.5 to 2.5 Mach. And we know this because Klaus is able to outrun explosions fairly easily. The Bayou, could you remind me again why you believed that Marcel was innocent? Remind me to ask him before I pull out his innards. Okay, exercise extreme caution in this general area, a bit of a mess. Well, that doesn't bode well. Are you trying to kill us? Elijah, oh, tell me what's going on now. This is for Terry. I'm fine too. Thanks for asking.
So regardless if Dracula can fly, the only reason he would need to fly is to escape Klaus, which realistically he wouldn't be able to do because Klaus is faster than Dracula. And on top of that, they're pretty similar in strength, both being around class 5, which means they can lift anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 kilograms. I still think comparing the two, Klaus would be slightly stronger than Dracula considering he is 1,000 years old and Dracula is only 440, but still in terms of strength, they're both pretty relative. Like look at all these Klaus strength feats real quick. Adrian should be here any minute. Yeah. <laughs> no! Twelve what? I imagine right now you're rather cross with me. You should know I have my reasons. Rebecca suggested I hear them. I'd rather rip out your vocal cords. How dare you? I'm just getting started. You've grown bloodthirsty. Perhaps it's best your mother didn't live to see you like this. <laughs> Go, I will never let go. I don't really have any strength feats for Dracula, but we can assume it's around the same. And moving on to durability and healing factor, healing factor would definitely go to Dracula in this fight. As we saw before, he was easily able to heal, you know, his whole entire face and body from being burnt in a matter of seconds. And on terms of durability and stuff, I think Klaus would win because he can't be killed by Dracula. In terms of IQ, this definitely goes to Klaus. Klaus is 1000 years old and the Van Helsing movie takes place in 1888, I think. So based off that, it's going to be safe to say that Klaus would definitely have more knowledge than Dracula. That also goes for combat as well. Klaus is easily able to slaughter the 30 to 40 vampires. And with Dracula, we never actually saw him, you know, be technical in fighting, actually. In fact, he never had to fight until he met Van Helsing, who killed him fairly easily. There's only three advantages that, you know, Dracula has in this fight. It's that the fact that he can control werewolves, which I said before, I think won't work against Klaus for, again, two reasons. Klaus is 1,000 years old. He's more powerful than Dracula. And as well, Klaus is a hybrid, meaning it would be harder to control him. And with that being said, Klaus can also control Dracula as well with compulsion. The next advantage that Dracula has is his monster form. Form. I think if Dracula is in that monster form, he will apply a serious amount of pressure to Klaus, but it would be hard considering that Klaus is faster than Dracula, meaning he'll be able to evade his attacks fairly easily. The next advantage is being that he's able to fly in that monster form, which like I said before, due to Klaus's speed, won't be much of an advantage, but it means that he could evade Klaus's attacks fairly easily. But with that being said, if Klaus bites Dracula once, Dracula's dead, and Dracula cannot kill Klaus at the White Oak Stake, which no longer exists. So really this fight falls down to how long can Klaus go without realizing that the only way to kill this dude is by a werewolf bite. Once Klaus realizes that he can kill Dracula with his bite, it will only be a matter of seconds until he does. And once bit, Dracula dies fairly instantly. It's not like the originals The Vampire Diaries where vampires taking you know, a day or two to actually die. Dracula dies within an instant. So with that being said, I think the clear winner with extreme difficulty, mind you, Klaus would not be able to kill Dracula easily is Klaus Michelson. And let me just, you know, clarify that again. It is extreme difficulty. Dracula has an insane healing factor. The only thing that will do damage to Dracula 
is Klaus's bite and Dracula cannot kill Klaus at all. And also Klaus can control Dracula with compulsion. So if Dracula does get close to Klaus, he can just compel him and basically make him stand still or reveal the thing that kills him. And if Dracula reveals to Klaus under compulsion that the only way to kill him is a werewolf bite, then Klaus would bite Dracula. So here in my personal opinion, Klaus wins this fantasy fight. If you guys agree or disagree, please let me know down below in the comment section. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions. And also guys, I have an official Discord server link down below in the description. Can you guys please join it? It is an amazing community and I love to have you in there. And as always guys, thank you guys for watching this video so much. I appreciate it. Tell someone you love them, stay hydrated and stay safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.